Hello and welcome to the MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. So the first thing we need to remember, uh, equivalent just means the same, same value. And so before we begin, we're going to have a look at this 100 square grid here on the right. And as we, as we can see, it's split up into 100 separate parts. Um, but for today's session, we're going to look at breaking it up into 10 equal parts. So, for example, this top row here is 1. Then we have the second row, 3rd row, 4th row, 5th row. So that's half, 5 tenths, equivalent to a half, don't forget. Quick refresh on that. 6 seven, eight, nine, ten. And what we can see here is that each of these rows, each of these strips, the green or the yellow, is worth one tenth. So that's one out of ten. That's as a fraction. As a decimal, it's 0 0.1, because don't forget, this is the tenths column so it's one out of ten parts one out of the ten rows and then as a percentage it's going to be ten percent now the reason why it's ten percent is because if we take the full grid which is a hundred percent it's all of it it's a whole and we divide that hundred that hundred percent into ten equal parts ten equal rows we get 10%. So each of the rows is worth 10%, which is the same as one tenth as a fraction and 0 0.1 as a decimal. Now we can use these stripes, these rows, these strips to help us answer the three questions. So if we look at question one to begin with, we can see it's 40%. Now we know that each of these lines, strips, rows are worth 10%. So if we want 40%, we're going to need four of them. So let's have a look. If I just highlight four of the strips, we can clearly see that's 40%. So taking that 40%, we can say that that is the same as 0.1. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1 for a total of 0 0.4 as a decimal. So our 40% is the same as 0 0.4 as a decimal. And finally, we just need to look at the fraction. So up here, we have one tenth for this top row. Then the second row is another tenth, third row is another tenth, and the fourth row is another tenth. So all together, we have four tenths. And there's our three equivalences. And don't forget, writing the equivalent percentage, decimal and fraction, three different ways of writing exactly the same thing. And next on to question two, which is 0 0.7. So this time, we're going to start with the decimal. We're going to change that into a fraction. And then finally into a percentage. And it doesn't matter which order you do it in. You can just choose whichever you prefer. So if we remember correctly from before, this top row is 0 0.1 as a decimal. We've got 0 0.7 altogether. So we're going to need seven of these. And another way of looking at these is it's like saying 10p so 10p 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 70p all together so we have all together if we have a look if i just highlight those seven rows for 0 0.7 decimal and we know as a fraction each of the rows is worth one out of ten one per ten one tenth because don't forget, this is the one tenth column here. So we can clearly see that as a fraction, it's worth seven out of ten, seven tenths. 
and then finally we can look at the percentage and we know that each row is worth 10 percent so if we have seven of those all together we must have a total of 70 percent and those are our three equivalents to 0 0.7 7 tenths and 70 percent and finally we move on to two tenths so we're going to start this time with the fraction we're going to convert that into a percentage and then into a decimal right so if we start with the the fraction we know that each row is worth one tenth and we've got two tenths all together so that's going to be two rows so let's highlight the two rows so we can clearly see the part of the hundred square that we're using this time for this question then I'm going to change that into a percentage and I know that each of these rows is worth 10% so the percentage must be worth 20% altogether and then finally the decimal we know was worth 0 0.1 so altogether worth 0 0.2 so when we use the grid and we use the tenths you can see how easy it is and it's just three different ways of writing exactly the same value thank you very much for listening today uh, i look forward to speaking to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe to the my mini maths youtube video tutorial channel take care see you soon